so we just left uh, the mountains and we're making our way towards the shore. We're just outside of Richmond at Cabela's again because it worked out well last time. And it is so much warmer. Um, so much warmer. We're going to be spending a few weeks by the shore, so that's uh, the forecast looks good. Come on, Knox, let's go. Come on. Um, but yeah, I've never been in Cabela's, so I'm actually going to go in and check it out, see what they got. I love cast iron. So we came in to Cabela's last night and now I'm going for the dog walk in the morning and it is so nice out. Like it's, it's much warmer than it was uh, when we were in the mountains, um, which is it's just, you know, it kind of puts me in a kind of a relaxed mood um, just because I'm, I'm comfortable and, you know, I, I guess because I'm not subconsciously worried about getting away from the cold and all that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice down here. I'm looking forward to getting closer to the shore. Can he, can he, did he, he can't find it. <laughs> Look for it. There you go. Good job. Good job. We got a blind dog. <laughs> We've arrived at our campsite for the night. It's an actual campsite. It's, we're going to be here until, um, for about six days or so. And, uh, see it's about nine o'clock, so we're just being quiet right now. And it seems like it's going to be pretty good. It's hard to see. Um, but there's a, some military jets that are overhead, so hopefully they'll stop doing their thing relatively soon and we can get to sleep. Oh, good morning. You're at this, uh, this North something campground, North Chesapeake. Where are you going, buddy? Um, I don't think this is the right way. I guess we're going this way. So, <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, so we're anyway, we're here. And so far, it's very nice. Um, we've got lots of trails right off the, uh, off the campgrounds. It's nice and quiet. <clears throat> There's some interesting trailers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, electricity is not an issue because they have hookups. And they have a centralized dump station. So, we're all good with with three sources. <coughs> so we'll be here for for the week and through the weekend because um, there's some things this weekend that I want to go explore in the area. And that's about that. More walking at night after work. It's a very nice campsite. Loads of trails. Right uh, south of Chesapeake. urban tourism, shopping at Best Buy, Val needed a headset, and uh, hit a few of the stores, probably gonna hit a Cold Stone in a minute. Found a problem on the top of the van. The van has a bit of a leak in it, but I was able to get up on top of the roof and inspect it, and it's just one little spot, and we need to get some sealant for that. Um, not a problem, easy fix. And then, I don't think I've talked about this yet on, on the video, but we are going to build it out. So, more on that to come. Little turtle down there. So it's Friday night, I'm at the end of the week, and before it gets dark I just want to show you um, 
the crack here up on top of the van. So it's located about there-ish, where there's a seam underneath the, uh, that basically holds these together. So now we're on the top of the van, and this is the problem area. It's not this dark thing, that's just dirt. It's this seam right there. So you can, if the camera will focus correctly, you can see it's, it's kind of cracked through, and it's, it's divoted in. Now if you compare that to one of the other corners, so I can get over there without falling. Uh, so this one over here, it's not divoted in, it's not cracked, there's no chance of it cracking because it's got too much material there. So uh, yeah, that's not an issue over there. So yeah, so we're gonna try to um, basically put some sort of filler in that. There's, there's stuff for it, it's a known issue that happens sometimes, um, so it shouldn't be any problem at all to get it filled and then we'll be able to start getting insulation in this thing without getting it wet. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna work on that, uh, finding the material for that. I'm gonna do some Home Depot this weekend, I'm gonna do some canoeing, and have some fun. So right now we're gonna get, uh, get cooking on our um, air fryer over there, get some chicken cooking, call it a night, and we'll see you on the weekend.